is going on? I think it's time for the October world building update. But yeah, I just got back from uh, Zilla's wedding in Michigan. So I was over in the States again, picked up way too many Marvel Legends. But I uh, did some head swaps for some quick custom students, stuff like that. I picked up a few of these Red Skulls, the one with a trench coat. Made them into Hydra Troopers. So yeah, that's about what I've been working on there. But uh, yeah, fantastic trip. I still have stuff that I haven't even opened yet. Like I've still got this uh, Squadron Supreme 2-pack. I picked up a bunch of these Ian Malcolms just for custom figures, maybe suited bodies. I like that flare too, maybe have somebody guiding a ship in in the jungle or something with a flare. But uh, yeah, I still got so much crap to open from uh, the trip down there. And uh, when Zilla recommended this set here, so yeah, when Zilla recommended this set, it's got like a dude with like a robot arm. It's kind of neat armor, I guess. But I like that robot dog. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to customizing that. I think I'll throw that in my uh, post-apocalyptic uh, land, which is uh, coming along fairly nicely here. I'm just laying it out. I'm going to work a lot more on the bunker. Thank you. I think I'm just going to put some of this stuff in here for now. Like I want to customize these, obviously paint them up in my own color scheme. Same with this Mantis tank, but for now, I'll just place them in here. Still got a couple of these guys to open. But yeah, everything's coming along great here. I had to add a ring light. It was, like, way too, like, dark. I and mean, there's lots of pipes and stuff in this basement to hang everything off of. But yeah, this is all coming along good. Hopefully, I'm going to get to the point where I can do, like, just a video on this. And, uh, yeah, maybe throw some tunes over it or something. I don't know. But uh, moving right along here, my three, three, oh, you're gonna watch that stepping on stuff. I think it's a blister. But no, the 3D printing shop's getting pretty full right now. That's uh, for a contest winner from our last WMC giveaway. So that's a Marauder kit from the Bad Batch. I'm gonna partially assemble it. Like I'll do the tricky stuff, like putting the mechanisms in for the wings and stuff and then i've got uh i'm gonna paint up this i do have my uh haslab pre-order but you know still waiting on that i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it but i've been offered a lot of money for my uh pre-order so i don't know yet but i still have to paint this one up it's just a solid piece i would say it's more power of the force scale than like legacy scale but it's uh it's quite huge i'm just actually working on uh some maintenance on the printers probably hopefully get that done tonight then get everything rocking and rolling again but yeah i'm waiting for uh what do i need i think i need like a heat sink or something for this one it's getting all wacky and but i might just buy the whole new head i've done that before it's only it's 45 dollars to buy this whole printing head and i went away one day and left it running and it jammed up like with so much like plastic filament that it was like oozing out the top so instead of trying to like heat all that up and, uh, you know, get it out of there, I just decided I'd buy a whole new head and that worked a lot better. I may do that again. Just waiting on some tips and some new Bowden tubes for these. That's a white tube that's going there. They get worn out on the inside. So yeah, just waiting on parts. And the other thing actually for 112 that I'm working on. So I wasn't too happy with my X-Men mansion set up. That was all just kind of temporary. I threw it up on some shelves. So I've done like a three level X mansion kind of deal here. So this is gonna be like a B slab or some whatever up here. So top floor is, floor is a laboratory. And then we're gonna get down into Professor X's uh, office and stuff like that. And then finally the bottom, we're gonna have a kitchen over here and then this kind of a living room, whatever over here, fireplace. And that is going to go all the way over here. So I've already started ripping it all down. It's hard to get back in there right now, actually, but we'll, we'll, we'll attempt it for the video. We'll try and get back in there. Oh, I did it without knocking anything over. That's freaking amazing. So yeah, that was the old setup. Just kind of a temporary thing. It'll look a lot better with my actual building in place. That's all that's left in the living room. Looks like they just went through a nuclear explosion or something. But all my parts are off to the side here. Once I got this all cleared out, then I can actually move this over here. And I'm not, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like this Jedi Temple setup. I know I just started working on it. 
but I'm getting more and more guys in there. I'm actually kind of thinking I might strip this right down to nothing and do like a full built, custom built, like kind of corner temple deal and like 3D print walls and everything. Maybe for once, just kind of like pump the brakes and rethink what I'm doing, do something really awesome. That's my probably my biggest, uh, biggest fail is when I uh, rush through things. I get them set up like it looks pretty cool most of the time but then i get it set up and i'm like oh i could have done this and i could have done that but i'm pretty pretty well yeah i'm fairly impatient by nature so it's hard to do it can't fight your nature man it's just the way it is but i'm gonna pump the brakes a bit on this and kind of maybe split my time between the 112th and the 118th stuff for a bit so i'm trying to make a big landing pad here for the ghost because it needs like way too much space other than that, I'm just kind of been tweaking stuff, moving things around a little bit, adding some new lighting because my Amazon strip lights burned out, which I was so bummed out about because once they're, once they're back in there, I still want to get to uh, rebuilding this entire section here, kind of make it like a big city facade with apartments and stuff like that. Here's my new arrivals from uh, Pirates of the Galaxy, if I can get them stood up here. So yeah, he... These gears guys flew in from his, his station a little while ago. That was a fun visit. Definitely go over and uh, check out his uh, his channel for a little tour video of what we did on that weekend. Went around to just some local comic shops, you know, all that fun sort of stuff. But I think, uh, yeah, I don't have uh, too, too much to update other than uh, just wanting to move a bunch of setups around. Finally got those guys set back up, Pirates. Thanks. No, just kidding. It's all good, bro. So, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for now. Um, I've definitely got, uh, oof. yeah, I've got a lot of projects I want to do. So, hopefully, uh, the next update will be a little more substantial. But uh, I think the next video coming is going to be a Mar new Marvel Legends tour because I got way too many of them. Because I've got, yeah, I've got a whole, like, huge bin off Pirates of the Galaxy. We did a bunch of trades. Plus, I've just got a ton from Ollie's over the weekend again. So, got a couple of those tracksuit mafia guys that everybody was looking for at Ollie's. So, yeah, I got a couple of them. We're all set. So, I think that's going to actually be the end of the video now. So, uh, everybody take it easy. Remember to tune in to WMC Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to do a feature on Red Kanata this week. So pretty excited about that. It's more going to be like a virtual tour kind of thing. So, uh, but yeah, tune in Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You'll figure it out. So until next time, take it easy and uh, cheers.